going on guys and we are back outside again at 6 5 a.m just pulling up at this home depot we already got three huge orders to start today y'all probably like, how you get three huge orders started today that fast stuff never stopped dropping at the old drop time guys it just dropped less now and they you know they upped the time to combat the returns which that technique is working because i think last week i got zero returns and by all means i'm not out here to do returns returns are extra money <laughs> extra icing on the cake but we are out here to do the delivery um so it is what it is i tell you i went from like seven returns to like one one a week and last week i got zero so i guess we had zero a week um but anyway three huge orders 46 46 46 going the same way guys i still wake up at the same time every day and still look for that five o'clock hour drop and it works 40 to 50 percent of the times so let me go ahead in here get this order i might have to do two trips we about to go ahead and put these seats down make some good old room up big because i still got the seats up from doing the power yesterday so stay tuned okay yeah i forgot somebody asked me to show show them how my seats fold down in the floor uh no i do not take these seats out so i hit this lever hopefully you guys can see it i hit this lever right here then it's a um hook right here you just pick this up probably guys you brought y'all guys probably can't see it slide this thing right here push it down and it fold right into the ground so I'll show y'all folds right into, whoo, folds right into the ground Almost slipped on my dollar. <laughs> All right, so we're loaded in here. We got feet, 50 pieces of light wood, paws on that. But that's what we got up in here. I think we're under 700, probably around 700 pounds. Um, it is signature required. I really want to get this out of here though. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I want to get this out of here. I mean, the return would be lovely because that'd be another $140 getting returned. So that would be lovely. <laughs> but um we'll see we'll see they get they get a hundred notifications that we're on the way now so but after this even if we don't get the return i still have a 50 dollar order picking up at that same home depot and a 60 dollar order picking up at oxy hill so that 50 dollar order is going up marlboro then we got to drop back down to oxy hill just to go back to that home depot right there because <laughs> that's where the drop off at so hopefully i can do all this before the next drop because that ward off home depot looked like they kind of, I went in the back it looked like they got some stuff about to drop at that next drop or in between and it's another drop that happens i ain't gonna say too much but it's another drop that happens before that 10 o'clock hour drop but i'm gonna leave well it's two drops actually at certain stores so i'm gonna leave it at that so um catch out at this drop off man it's gonna be hell unloading this but we got the return so he had three houses on site i went to check each and every house went above and beyond and called him again which restarted my timer so i waited six minutes for him no reply and he got over like probably four notifications so they usually call him when they say return at the store but it is what it is. I was just talking about returns too. So we got three $93 stops now. So it is what it is on that. Um, we still got to go back to this Home Depot anyway to get that other order. So woo, good money, good money. That's over. We over 200. What's that? Two, 280? Then we got this other order for 50. That'll put us at 330. Then we got a $60 order. God damn, y'all. We got a $60 order. That'll put us at 390. I gotta hit about 500 today. So I don't know, oh, because it can slow down. It can slow down. Oh, uh, but hey, it's a good day. I can't complain about the start. Now it's gonna be hell unloading this back onto those carts, but it is what it is, $140. I'm unload all day. 
forget it. All right, y'all. So we up $330.97. It's not even 9 o'clock yet, if y'all can see that. Not even 9 o'clock yet. Uh, we will try to snag one of these CVS orders, though. Um, till the next drop time is actually two drop times about to come up. If you know, you know. Um, nine o'clock hour and ten o'clock hour. But anyway, we lost that sixty dollar trip. I think I already told y'all that we lost that sixty dollar trip. Oh man! And I was at a conundrum after I dropped off that fifty dollar trip. The two countertops. My bad, guys. I didn't get that on camera. But we did have two countertops in here. Remember, I had four pickups from that one home depot showed y'all screenshot should be back up and then we had that sixty dollar um drop that they took away they gotta fix that location thing man because what happened was when i went back to that home depot ward off it read that i didn't move from that home depot as soon as i pulled up it took away the order now i knew a tech i know a technique to you know offset that and i wasn't thinking I wasn't thinking I was I was so I was about to do it but then I you know sending out the text messages and stuff to the customer and it just threw me off but to give you guys some sauce and only use this technique if you know you're gonna go get the trip only use it if you know you're gonna go get the trip don't have it just sitting in your in your queue and somebody else could be using that money and you knew you wasn't gonna get the trip but anyway what you do is if you drive around a certain amount of times, I think it's about a little after 10 minutes, right? You could actually tap on that store that you're about to go to and hit arrive. Now you're not going to be able to see the items you're going to pick up, but you still be able to see the item count and the weight and everything. But that will lock you in the queue. That would lock that store in your queue. So uh, we could have been up 390, but simple mistake this morning but it is what it is um like i said i'm gonna try to grab some of these cvs orders my my store ain't pop up with a cvs order i'm in ox hill right now so my cvs store didn't even pop up shame on that store but anyway catch y'all with something interesting happen. man we are on fire today guys so we got another 51 dollar order back there on top of another $46 order. Screenshot is up, guys. And it's only $9.47. And there's still another drop that's about to happen. <sighs> we on fire, guys. We are on fire today. That's how I like it, man. Woof. Let's go. So I'm in this uh roadie group goofing around right now. Uh, one of his, one of the guys in there talking about, of course you got all those orders. You're in the middle of nowhere. So I'm like, my market is not in the middle of nowhere. So he replies, say, well, I say, who mans is this? And then he replies, say, well, I'm in the Miami market, the Mecca or something. I'm like, all right, man, you, you got this one. Now, I can't stand you Miami drivers in y'all market. It's like, nah, but that is a super good market uh, for all delivery apps. Um, well, we ain't talking food and I'm talking about cargo apps. That is a super good market. I'm not going to lie to you. I actually know somebody that works out that way. Uh, it's a lot of work on dispatch. It's a lot of work on roadie out there. But man, forget you Miami drivers, man. I make what I, <laughs> I make what I can make in my market and make it work, man. My my market by far is not the best market out there. Everybody keeps saying they go move to DC because I make it look good, but to be honest with you guys, New York is a better market uh, than my market, New Jersey. Uh, sometimes uh, Philadelphia, they got more variety of stuff to do. Um, we don't have a lot of stuff down here. We don't have price right. We used to have one price right, but this is before Roadie started doing that. Um, those deliveries from there, we don't got a lot of the tire shops you guys got. I mean, <laughs> we're working what we can work with down here. You know what I'm saying? Well, I am, and a couple of other drivers. Uh, this might be a good old return right here too, guys. Hold on now. Uh, M Street. We gonna go ahead and arrive this. Hmm. I'm thinking this might be a return 628. 628 is that church right there. Good Lord. All right, let me uh get back with y'all. Let me find out what's going on. All right, y'all. Uh, so that is 628. I think that's still a church right there. It might not be anymore. 
we will go ahead in this gate. I'm gonna go ahead and let uh Billy walk past. Cause uh yeah, these people down here, and I ain't talking just white people, I'm talking about these people in general down here that live down here. White, black, Ethiopian, Mexican, they all the same people. They just don't pay attention to where their surroundings at or where they go to. So let me go ahead and try to get this delivery off right quick. And stay tuned. Say ring doorbell, literally say ring doorbell. Hey, come on. I got a delivery for y'all. Uh, James Thompson, um, Home Depot. Home Depot, okay. Where you park? Over there. In the parking lot? Yeah, let me move my door before you hit it. All right, so they about to bring a cart downstairs. This is M Street right here. Did y'all see the delivery, the order I got? Yes. I don't think I showed it on camera, but this is going there. Uh, I'm gonna help him stock on, stack it on there on his cart, and he's gonna be able to roll it up there by himself. <laughs> so, I'm gonna catch y'all. I got a pickup at Marnock Paint. And we're gonna try to catch us another Home Depot too because the drop time about to happen. Take a quick picture of it. Oh, shit. I'm gonna walk this up there for you too. This is yours too. Okay. All right. Almost forgot these. Walk this up there for him. Want me to sit this on the car door? Yeah. All right. All right, you have a good day, man. Man, I'm going to have to back in this van now. I'm going to hold dust bucket right now. Got all that stuff up on me. It is what it is, so next stop, Marnark Paint. And like I said, we're gonna try to hit at one of these Home Depots down here. I don't know if we're gonna be able to hit, but we're gonna try. We're gonna put in our bid for all the, you know, all the huge orders that come out, we're gonna put in the bid and keep it moving. So I did not know Marnark Paint was Benjamin Moore. Learn something new every day. This is the first time me picking up over here. Stuff is already ready. Load up and keep it moving. So let me go ahead and load this up so y'all won't hear me all breathing hard. Okay, so as I feared, this paint is going to it's the African American Museum in here. Hmm. Is this it? It's one of these museums over here. Maybe y'all yeah, probably like, oh, you should know the African American Museum. Now I don't know the African American Museum, but which oh, this the uh, historian museum down here. I man, I haven't been to these museums in a long time, guys. Guys, but what's about to happen is I'm about to call the customer, see if they answer the phone because. I need directions to get to the loading dock and first of all probably not gonna be able to get into the loading dock unless somebody is already here waiting for me so keep you guys posted on that so I hate delivering down here look at this knucklehead right here oh man so I gotta find the loading dock I haven't delivered down here in a long time and I'm thinking this is the loading dock right here yes I gotta use my memory now, guys, because look at these idiots. Like, jaywalking across the street. Security. Hey, get y'all, get y'all. 
Oh, Lord. See, I don't miss delivering down here, guys. This stuff used to stress me out right here. So this is one of my spots that I had to do at Coca-Cola. The loading dock is like all the way down here. I wonder if security is still down here. They're like, why you got that camera on? None of your goddamn business. I'm out here working. Um, he said he gonna meet me at the loading dock, so this is what we gonna do right here. I'm on the, I'm on the dock right here, man. It is what it is, man. It is what it is. So hopefully he's here. Um, I'm gonna turn the car. Yeah, we are done that man this area is just so difficult to deliver to he had me waiting down here about freaking seven minutes too like come on bro come on bro ski oh he want back up yeah this area down here if you guys ever move move down here or you know get some CDL work down here be prepared to offset your tractor like that well he got a box truck so he about to have to alley dock the box truck which is way easier than a tractor trailer but i used to be down here in the coca-cola tractor trailer so um look like the app went dead guys we might go ahead and turn on some roadie i mean uh, i'm gonna say turn on some roadie turn on some uh doordash good lord let me get from down here before i get in trouble goodness gracious gracious goodness I <laughs> can't get back with y'all. So I just seen another Easy K to order. I didn't accept it because it was only paying eighteen dollars, and it was downtown. You had to go get it from the IHOP downtown, but for eighteen dollars, and it wasn't on no catering app. It came through on Simpex. What's going on, man? Are these freight apps getting into catering? That'd be crazy. I mean, I guess that uh, open up more orders. I mean, I know. A couple of van drivers don't care about you know doing catering orders if they're paying right if they're paying decent that's that's just crazy man all right y'all so we are in Target. target guys <laughs> they're getting we got a 14 dollar order up on doordash they're getting two regular cokes and a diet coke Sounds like a fun party. Confirm quality, we got two of those. Oh shit. <laughs> two of those. And two of Dad Dr. Peppers. Ew. I hate Dr. Pepper. Disgusting. Tastes like cough medicine to me. All right, we're done with that. Yeah, I gotta get me a portable vacuum. It looks like a mess in here. I'm not vacuuming right now. I'm tired. So, uh, <laughs> but um, I think we go call it. After we do this, well, at least until it cool down. It's back hot out here. It's 98 degrees right now. And uh, yeah, we made some decent money. Now I did put in a bid for ward off again. That order came back out. Well, part of the order came back out. So if we do get that, then I shoot back down ward off. If we don't, I'm like freaking three minutes away from my house. So. Can't complain, can't complain about today earnings. I know we over $400. And if um, I end the video right here, it should be a screenshot at the end. If I don't, then I'll uh, see y'all later. Okay, so I just wanted to get back on camera right quick, you know, just to go over a little something. 
uh, the only downside of this van, the only downside, guys. So, earlier today, I was talking about some orders that I can't take from Tractor Supply that make sense, and some orders on roadies sometimes that I can't take that make sense. And this is only 15 to 20 percent of the time, right? 80 percent of the time, I can take anything that come on roadie, right? Pause, uh, <laughs> but. This order right here made sense. It was coming from a place called Zeus or something. I don't know what that is. Um, it was a palletized, it was a skid of water, palletized order. Um, it was going on your van. Looked like they got a picture of a forklift. So it was going on your van on a pallet with a forklift. It probably was coming off your van with a forklift. Uh, $86 going 39 miles. I would have took that. That was going right to Lord Virginia. It's a couple of stops down there, little you know, stores and stuff that I could have you know finagle down there. But it's already one o'clock, so I probably would have dropped that off and headed to like Alexandria and try to got a, get an order taking me back across the bridge somehow. But that's the only downside with this van, guys. Like can't take palletized orders like that. That's what I was saying when I did that experiment with the um, the high top. The high top, um, what you call it, sprinter van. But other than that, everything that I was picking up in that high top sprinter van could go straight up in here. So if I don't come back out, like I said, you guys will see a screen with all my earnings today. If I do come back out, you guys will see my face again. One, two, three, four.